In many respects, estate planning for single parents is similar to estate planning for families with two parents. Single parents want to provide for their children's care and financial needs after they're gone. But when only one parent is involved, certain aspects of an estate plan demand special attention. Hi, I'm Antoinette Bone, estate planning, probate, guardianship, and elder law attorney in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. I'm a married mom of one. And recently, my husband and I were looking at our estate planning and what we had decided regarding our son. There is a lot to think about. Now, our plans for his future caretakers have changed. I was raised by a single mom. Now that I am a mom, I have a profound respect for single parents out there grinding and taking care of their kiddos. So today is my love letter to single parents. I'm going to share nine questions every single parent should ask. Number one, are my will and other estate planning documents up to date? Now, this assumes you already have a plan. If you don't, then you need to get your estate planning done in a hurry because tomorrow is promised to no man. If you have a plan but haven't reviewed your estate plan recently, talk to your estate planning attorney to be sure it reflects your current circumstances. If you don't have an estate planning attorney, give me a call. I would love to help you get your plan in place. The last thing you want is for a court to decide your children's future or worse, for them to end up in foster care for any length of time. Number two, have I selected an appropriate guardian? If the other parent is unavailable to take custody of your children, should you become incapacitated or die suddenly, does your estate plan designate a suitable, willing guardian to care for them? Will the guardian need financial assistance to raise your kids and provide for their education? If not, you might want to preserve your wealth in a trust until your children are grown. When naming a guardian for your child, I recommend doing that in a separate document instead of your will. If you change your mind, it will be more expensive to change your will than the designation of guardian document. Now remember that even if you name a guardian for your children in a will or other document, that will not divest a surviving parent of their right to take custody of their children. Also, if the other parent is deceased, be mindful of grandparents competing for custody if you fail to name a guardian. Three, am I adequately insured? With only one income to depend on, plan carefully to ensure that you can provide for your retirement as well as your children's financial security. Life insurance can be an effective way to augment your estate. You should also consider disability insurance. Unlike many married couples, single parents don't have a backup income in the event they can no longer work. Number four, what happens if I remarry? Will you need to provide for your new spouse as well as your children? Where will you get the resources to provide for your new spouse? Further complications can arise if you and your new spouse have children together or if your spouse has children from a previous marriage. Planning is an absolute must if you are entering into a second or later marriage. Number five, what if I become incapacitated? As a single parent, it's particularly important for your estate plan to include a directive to physicians, also known as a living will, or a medical power of attorney, to specify your health care preferences in the event you become incapacitated and to designate someone to make decisions on your behalf. You should also have a revocable living trust or a durable power of attorney that provides for the management of your finances in the event you're unable to manage them yourself. Have you appointed an interim caregiver should you become incapacitated? Will your children go live with a caretaker or will the caretaker come live with them in your home? These are things you need to start thinking about. Number six, have I established a trust for my children? Trust planning is one of the most effective ways to provide for your children. Trust assets are managed by one or more qualified trusted individuals or corporate trustees, 
and you specify when and under what circumstances funds should be distributed to your kids. A trust is particularly important if you have minor children. Without one, your assets may come under the control of a former spouse or a court who will decide who the trustee is going to be. This may be a stranger or someone you simply wouldn't want managing your child's assets. You have to plan to avoid this outcome. Number seven, do I have an estate tax reduction strategy? If your estate is large enough that gift and estate taxes are an issue, it's important to begin tax planning as early as possible. As a single parent, you won't enjoy the benefit of the unlimited marital estate tax deduction, so you'll need to rely more heavily on other tax reduction strategies. For example, you might take advantage of the current lifetime gift tax exemption or the annual gift tax exclusion to make regular tax-free gifts to your children or to a trust for their benefit. Number eight, have I left written instructions? Don't force your children's guardian or your other representatives to guess what you would have wanted. Include instructions in your trust or a separate writing if your estate plan is will-based on anything from religious and educational preferences to moral or social values. Number nine, can the other parent help? If your spouse or ex-spouse or former lover is alive, is he or she willing to help care for your children or provide financial resources? If the other parent is deceased, does his or her estate plan provide any financial assistance for your children? If your child is old enough, you should talk to them about who they would and wouldn't prefer to live with if something should happen to you. While you will make the final decision, having your child's input will likely prove to be enlightening and help you make a decision that will be best for them in the long run. So while it's important for all parents to have a plan regarding their children, for single parents, it is even more important. Failing to plan will leave your children exposed to unwanted outcomes. I'm Antoinette Bone, estate planning, probate, guardianship, and elder law attorney in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. If you found this content useful and would like to see more like it, please subscribe to my page, like this video, and don't forget to tell your family and friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.